Hey y'all, this is Anthony from Rock Prince. And thanks for watching this video. In this tutorial, we're gonna take a PNG file, convert it into an embroidery DST file using my software called Chroma Plus. After that, we're gonna go ahead and let the software auto digitize for us. And we're gonna tweak it here and there. Once it's done, we're gonna go ahead and send it off to my embroidery machine. And there we're gonna start stitching. For this project, I'm gonna use a gray hoodie sweater and an image that I purchased off of embroiderydesigns.com. We're gonna see how this image comes out. Hope y'all like this video. And if you do, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I greatly appreciate it. And if you want the full benefit to this tutorial, stick around to the very end. So with that, let's go ahead and get this started. guys so we're gonna take this PNG image and we're gonna go ahead and insert it into chroma here so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually you see where this auto digitizing icon is we're gonna click that and right where it says auto we're, we're, we're not gonna change that so you have two other features cross stitch or artwork you can change the art you can change it to artwork and that's where you manually uh, digitize your image manually um, but what we're going to do is we're going to auto digitize this one so we're going to click on next and then it's going to find the image and it's going to tell you what the actual size is from there and then we're going to click next and now what it's going to do it's going to select how many colors it recognizes for your image so we see that it's it's showing one and um, we're going to go ahead and hit finish and then once we finish it's going to take a minute because it's trying to auto digitize the whole image okay so it's going to go through in depth what it does and then finally once it's done it's going to um release the picture okay and we'll go from there so we're going to hit finish all right so now that we got the image um auto digitized this is what it's going to look like. So if you want to change, if you want to bring your stitches close together, you can. Um, all you need to do is just select your image here. Let's do that again. Let's go this way. Let's try it like that. Okay. And then what you can do is you see these bars up here on your right hand side, the one that says command. You can, um, I'm sorry, once you click your image here, you see where it says in this box right here it says stitch length and then density you can change your density since we already have it at a 0 0.30 uh, we our stitches are pretty much close together it looks like we got a good good tightness of this image so i'm not going to touch it but if you do need to bring your stitches together that's where you would use your density okay other than that um, if you do have, like, if you see right here where these cross stitches are, if you want to remove the cross stitches, which I don't think these, these are really, um, cross stitches, but if you do have stitches that are just running back and forth and, and, uh, you want to remove that, um, from what I saw on, on some videos with Rakoma is you go up here to your toolbar again and it says command. And then you want to click where it says start command. You can click um, whatever you need to get done. In this particular case, it's going to be normal. And then your end command, you want to trim. So you're telling it to trim all your cross stitches. Okay. And once you trim those, um, you should have all your, your jump stitches should be removed. And then you should be ready to stitch. Okay. So in this particular case, I already did it and removed any cross stitches that I had and we're ready to start stitching. So I got my image, I got my colors and I'm ready to ready to process this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this image to my, send this image to my Raccoon machine and we're gonna go from there. So that's how you auto digitize 101, very simple. If you need to make something really simple and quick, 
and it's not too, too complicated, I would recommend you use the auto digitizing um, software and function and let it auto digitize for yourself. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and send this to the machine and let's hit send. Boom, and it's done. All right, let's go take this image to the Ricoma machine. All right, I did my test run. Test run seems okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start getting the hoops together. So, let's go and take this off and take this off. And then first of all, what we're gonna do is cut out our um, this is going to be this is not tear away so this is cut away okay so we're going to take that and you can pick those up from Madeira alright so let me just do it this way so I can see. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Yeah. All right. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit of play here. All right. Go ahead and take those. I'm going to flip this back. Okay, so I'm going to take this hoop, I'm just going to try to straighten it out here. I'm going to bring this down some underneath this collar here, okay, try to get as straight as possible. And inside your hoop, you can feel like a groove, it can tell you exactly where you're at and where the center is, okay. So that's what we got going on there. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this cutaway that I did, and I'm gonna insert it here. Now this part's kind of tricky. But this is just what you gotta do when you're an embroiderer. So I'm gonna flatten it all out. Make sure it's straight on each side. Okay, and then I'm gonna start making my adjustments in here. Looks like I got it all on each corner. Got the middle right there, bring the middle back down. Okay. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up we're gonna close this down, okay? All right, so. What I'm gonna to have to do is I'm gonna loosen this up and that's why I put that little corner there so I can loosen it up just in case I needed to set it in, all right. So there, I have it all set up now, and I'm going to retighten it now. Now that it's all hooped up, let's go ahead and insert it into the recall machine. All right, so now I just got to make sure that the hoodie's going to go in there. And my backing, my back part is not going to be sewed together. All right, and now we're going to do the tracing.
So right now I had it on embroidery outline. That's why it's going slow. Okay, looks like it's ready. And we are gonna select our color and we're gonna use color number five, which is our black. And I'm gonna click okay. out okay this came out looks pretty good guys looks pretty good all right let's go ahead and unfold this take this hoop out and what we're gonna do now is just cut away the excess let's see all right looks like we're almost about done that's pretty good there Going to bring this back out. Okay, now what we'll do is work on the, the excess threads. Okay, take this, see it's centered. Back out a little bit. All right. All right, guys, what do you guys think? Not bad for auto-digitizing, huh? 
So, if you do like this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a it's comment for my next video. It. Thanks again for Peace. watching. You have a blessed day and hope you all are enjoying the Super Bowl. We're 57. Psst.